I'm going to orchestrate a very short but important ceremony, which I will entitle the signing of a statement on the deployment of alternative fuel infrastructure. And I need to invite um, Eric back to the stage, please, sir. And in fact, where do you want to go? Where would be good? So come with me on the stage, I think. That would be nice. Then we'll see if we move over there. Um, Christian Ruby of your electric. There you are. Very good. You're in the front seat. Come here. And also, of course, Julia of T&E, because you are all going to sign the uh, call to action. Um, have I got everybody I need? I'm not missing anybody. Good. So, in a nutshell, I think the important question I need to ask you first before you sign, and you love that in a nutshell, in a few sentences, why? Why are you signing? Why is it important? Why are you part of this joint call to action? And why is it significant for your organisation? Well, we believe in the uh, electricity industry that this is a great opportunity for us. Great, thank you. This is a great opportunity for us. It's a great opportunity for the car industry. And it's a great opportunity for society. I fundamentally believe that electromobility is a better offer. Uh, we have the chance to provide better cars, better mobility, cleaner mobility for all the citizens of Europe. And that's why we're so engaged in this. With, the, uh, with regard to the question about why are, why are people not investing, people are investing, but of course if we're talking about a scale, it needs to happen so fast now with, uh, for us to help you get the charging points out there. <coughs> so we really need to see all, let's say, forces mobilized to, ha to make this happen in such a short time. Uh, if we do it, that will be of great value to Europe. And by the way, We've heard some, some issues about electricity. Is it cleaner? Is it not? What, what's the cleanest car? Electricity is on a fast track to decarbonization. By 2030, three quarters of all electricity is carbon free. Three quarters of all electricity in Europe is carbon free. 70% of all coal in Northwestern Europe is phased out in five years from now. This is happening very fast. So it's about getting the charging points out there, providing the, um, the offers for customers they believe in and, and provides them with a seamless transition to this new mobility paradigm. Thank you very much. And, uh, so, and I'm going, so the, the real importance for you is also, um, you're saying everybody has to mobilize. So this is symbolically you actually mobilizing and a visibility to doing it. But I'm, but I'm only summing up. I'm not gonna come back to you because you made some very important points. Or did, did I get that wrong? I want to make one point. Now Short we one. are joining forces, um, <laughs> but I think we, we touched upon this issue that there are some barriers out there. Building owners, municipalities, big companies, we need to mobilize all of those so they get the charging points, work together to convince them to put in the charging points. That's the way to do this very, very fast transition. Thank you. Julia, can I come to you next? As transport and environment, uh, we were here on Brussels talking about zero emission models, electric cars, 10 years ago when everyone was laughing at us. Uh, and I think it's genuinely an honor and it's a great pleasure of, of, of t &E to be here alongside the key industries of, of Europe and to really agree that electrification is the way forward. It, it is the focus, one of the main focuses to decarbonize transport. So we are signing this because we really want to work together. There's been many years on various files and on various things we don't always agree. We will not always agree in the future, but it's important to have something to work together to from all sides. So for us, it's a really joint commitment to have help you guys sell the cars, you guys make you know, electricity cleaner and, and more around, uh, but we really need to keep the consumer on board. And that's the main focus for us coming to this cooperation. Hassle-free, ease of charging all across for everyone is, is really important. That EU right to plug should be enshrined in European regulations. Thank you. Eric, would you like to, you may clap too. Yes, clap. Well, for us, <clears throat> as European automotive industry, this is, in a way, a historical moment. Eh? Because, um, frankly, a year or even a couple of years ago, nobody, but nobody here in Brussels would have thought that these three organizations would sign something together. You know? uh, and it's, in fact, probably uh, an indication of the direction we are taking as an automotive industry, but we all need to take if we are serious about decarbonization. And it is, as I said before, it's a changed mindset. It's focusing on the commonalities. We, of course, have different points of view, also with transport and environment, uh, on many areas. But, but we may also have 
commonalities. And that's, in fact, if we focus on the commonalities, we can make a difference. And yes, there's still a lot to be discussed and agreed upon. And you know, especially uh, when you talk about recharging points, electricity, supply, the grids. I mean, there are still a lot of outstanding questions. But instead of just raising the question, let's sit together and try to find an answer. And that's a bit what has been motivating us to take this initiative. Mm -hmm. For us, as automotive industries, this is the first in a row. We talked hydrogen also today. We plan to do something similar with uh, hydrogen Europe. Uh, and we need to look at other fuel options as well. Uh, we are already working closely together with Fuels Europe. We don't want to drop that collaboration with Fuels Europe. So it's looking at the different options which are there, but with a clear objective in mind, try to make progress and try to get the job done. Thank you very much. And you echo, actually, our gentleman from Vilnius. I think that's exactly what he said. That's what got you all together in the end. You needed, you needed to get to that end. There was no choice, so you might as well, no matter your differences, sit and figure out how to get there. Okay, that was one city. Yours is more complex, but hey, got to start somewhere. Okay, so thank you very much. You're very clear, very enthusiastic that you're here. Just, you know, you said but barely two years ago this wouldn't have happened. So I need to gently ask you to come over here. Do not trip falling off the stage. You actually need to physically sign something. So... Come, come across. Okay. Uh, oh, you. Oh, for goodness sake, I didn't have a very good pen. So, who's going? You go first, please. Transport and environment. Would you like me to read this out, or is everybody clear about this, Eric? Or do you wish to read this out? Do they? I can read this out. Joint call to action for the accelerated deployment of smart charging infrastructure for electric vehicles. Please sign as I speak. You don't need to wait for me. In order to fully enable the decarbonized future of mobility for the coming decades, the deployment of strategically located smart and customized charging infrastructure and services is essential. Okay, thank you. Very good. You know how to do this. For this reason, we'll call on the relevant European institutions to take well-designed, ambitious measures to provide a supportive framework for incentivizing market players' investment in smart charging solutions and ensure the right to plug to every single electric car user. In addition, we call on policymakers, especially the new European Commission and members of the European Parliament, to set up supportive frameworks for electric mobility and smart charging. I'm now going to get out of the way and allow you to do a photo with these good people. Where would you like them arranged? On this side? Yeah? There you go. You can clap. I think it needs a clap so they can smile. Yeah, let them see. And more clapping, if you like. So they smile. Cheese, whisky tea. Yeah, you have what you need. Ah, another one. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you to all of you. You may take your seats.